uh, we are going to compare the older Haswell i7-4700 HQ with the newer Skylac i7-6700 HQ. Uh, the Haswell processor was launched more than two years ago. The Skylac is just a recent launch as we review this in October 2015. So both of them are quad core processors. They have the same number of uh, same amount of the cache memory at 6 MB. Both of them supports hyper threading which basically utilizes the idle cycles in CPU and insert uh, two parallel threads. The Skylac, the processor in question is 200 megahertz faster in base clock and 100 megahertz faster in the turbo clock. They have the same TDP rating, about the same TDP rating. So with these facts in mind, we expect the Skylac to be slightly faster than Haswell. Since the Skylac did not improve anything substantially, we do not expect it to be substantially faster than the Haswell in this particular case. We get a slight uh, increase in the clock frequency number one and slight improvement due to its architecture. So let us take a look at its park mark score to see if we are right or not. The pass mark shows Haswell to be slightly faster 7806 which obviously is not very uh, I cannot explain it but that is what it is right now. We have only smaller sample of i7-6700 HQ and we expect that as we get more samples we should be seeing it slightly faster than 7806 and for this reason I place to you both its uh, specification as well as the pass mark score uploaded by users. Few more thing you want to know is the Skylac comes with a DDR4 uh, which is uh, just as good as DDR3 as of now but its lower power at works at 1.2 volt versus 1.35 volt for DDR3L in Haswell and therefore it consumes lower power. The new HD Graphics 530 in Skylac is only marginally better than the HD Graphics 4600 in Haswell. Uh, that is most of the differences between these two processors. I hope you find it useful to compare the benchmark if you are looking at after a few months of this video. You can recheck this pass mark score for 6700HQ. I will post it in the comment section if it updates and then take your own conclusions. The basic reason for making this video is to make you aware of the differences in the specifications and then you can reconcile it with the benchmark scores. As far the pricing is concerned, they both are priced the same $378. The actual price, street price could be slightly different. We expect the asphalt to be slightly lo lower because it is older. So again, I hope this helps you send your comment in the comment section. Thank you.